What's happening guys? I'm Raz Mataz and welcome to episode one of a brand new FM23 beta save where I'm going to be taking over as the England manager and trying to take them all the way to a World Cup win for the first time since 1966. Wish me luck. All right, let's go, let's go. So Gareth Southgate is officially out of the England job and Rasmataz is officially in, which is some good news. Um, I've already gone in and just fuddled about with the national pool, called up some people that weren't there that was a bit surprising to me. Um, and we've set up a couple of tactics already, which is nice. So starting 11, as it stands, we're going to be playing a positive 4-2-3-1 wide gag and press. Um, Starting with Ramsdale as the sweeper keeper at the back. Then on the left, we've got Ben Chilwell, John Stones, and a little bit controversial maybe, but he's actually rated as one of the best ball-playing defenders in, in the England squad. We've got Reese James playing at right-sided centre-back, which obviously then opens me up to use either Walker or Trent at, at right-back. Um, and at the moment, we're going to give Walker a go. And then through central midfield, I've got Rice playing as the box-to-box -box midfielder. And Jude Bellingham playing central midfield on attack. And then the uh, the front four, as it would be, I suppose. Jack Grealish coming in from the left-hand side on inverted winger on attack. Mason Mount through the middle as the attacking midfielder on attack. And Sterling coming off of the right-hand side as a winger on attack. With Kane leading the line as a deep line forward in support. Obviously, my thought process here is Rice plus these four at the back. They're going to soak up all of the pressure here and then Grealish, Mount, Sterling are all going to bomb up through along with Bellingham shooting balls up across and then Kane hopefully is going to be sat there just to take advantage or drag defenders here, there and everywhere. Um, for a less attacking, I suppose, when we play you know, bigger, more dangerous sides, we've got a cautious 4-3-3 DM wide tactic here. So obviously these two will swap around there. So we'll then have the same back four exactly as they were, just slightly different roles. Um, Rice playing as a DM on support. Mount occupying that box-to-box -box midfielder role. Bellingham and then two wingers still on attack to be bombing up and distracting defenders and you know running at defence and pulling people all over the place. And then Kane in the centre as a deep line forward again. So this is kind of how I've got it set up at the moment. And then our bench for now. I'll swap those two back around. Um, our bench for now. So Jordan Pickford. Uh, in goal or, or first substitute for, for the bench. Then Harry Maguire, Eric Dyer, Luke Shaw and Trent. James Ward-Prowse, Calvin Phillips and James Madison to um, you know keep the midfield busy. And then in terms of wingers and strikers to flow in and out, I suppose I've got more wingers than strikers, but Foden, Sancho and Saka as options there to come on on the wings. And then Rashford at the moment is my striker option up top. Um, we'll see how, how Rashford goes. I actually prefer him for United certainly coming off of the left hand side so I do prefer him as a winger but you know he's going to be playing as, a, as my sort of you know bench striker to come on for the time being if that doesn't work out then you know maybe uh Calvert-Lewin will be back but probably not um or Tammy Abraham can can come into that Marcus Rashford role on the bench there and, and support Kane as and when necessary now, my first game as England manager isn't for a little while so we're playing Denmark there in a friendly in about 88 days so I'll see you then before we start the campaign in the group stages. So we had to cut down the squad a little bit in preparation for the European International League Division A game against Denmark. Um, we're only allowed to bring a 23-man squad, so we've lined up as we are here. Um, and then since that, we've actually been hit with a couple of little injuries. Tammy Abraham got a tiny little one, but he seems to be relatively okay. He can come on off the bench if necessary, but we'll probably try and avoid using Tammy so that we don't, you know, completely break him, which will be a nightmare. Um, and then Jack Grealish, he actually got injured playing against uh, Man United under 20 once, uh, where he suffered a gashed lower leg and he's going to be out for one to three more days. So he's not going to be available for this game against Denmark, but should be available for our next match. So here's our lining up based on current form. Um, we've got same back four as what we had before. So Chilwell, Stones, James, Walker um, and Ramsdale at the back. And then Rice and Bellingham in midfield. Foden on the left as a winger. 
and Mount as the attacking midfielder and then Saka on the right hand side as the inverted winger with Kane up front. Um, everybody else is still on the bench as it was. Uh, we did drop Harry Maguire out of the team, brought in Eric Dyer, he's playing much better in club football, so good to bring him in. Um, and we might have a little bit of a morale issue with Henderson as I've dropped him as captain and made, uh, sorry, vice captain and made Declan Rice the vice captain for now. So a bit of a tough game, and we have got that that backup tactic that we're going to use if the Gagan press is leaving us a bit exposed. We can drop back and play on the counter attack um, into the dressing room. Yeah, this is this is an important match for us. Let's uh, let's pump the fist. Tell them to go out there and give us a good performance. Nobody really cares. Um, Denmark. No Ericsson playing. Schmeichel in goal. No Ericsson playing on the field. That's a very interesting decision. Perhaps they're resting him ready for the World Cup. Yeah, we're not looking good, are we? From previous games. But mind you, neither are Denmark. So this is my definitely my first game in charge. So hopefully we can turn that around and get ourselves into one of those top two spots. And we're off. Just change this just a little bit. Speed up just a touch. And we'll go quicker for the highlights. I want to play director. I want to go back to my usual. There we go. Now we're ready. Bellingham's already been booked two minutes in. Ooh, strong tackle again there. Good job, but... Scary when you're on a yellow two minutes into a game to then five minutes into a game be making a tackle like that. Uh, looks like Denmark have had the better of us to start with. Damsgaard, ball into the middle. Hoiberg was there, but managed to take care of that. We're currently on a, a flat zero XG. We've had absolutely zero opportunities so far. So perhaps I've not picked the best squad. Saying that though, maybe ooh. oh, it's a corner. I was going to say that. So that was a horrendous shot. Another corner again. How many corners? Like they've had three corners in fifteen minutes, all over us. Kane manages to knock the ball forward. Saka recovers. Lovely job. Out to Foden. Keeps it in. No highlight there though. So Croatia one 0 up against France. Here we go. Our first corner of the game. We've had a shot as well, so we've got a zero point zero five xg. Recovered well by Bellingham on the outside. Ball in, Kane. Lovely goal. 1-0 early doors. We like to see it. I'll take back what I previously said about not picking the best squad. That was lovely. That's an interesting camera angle. Take us from the other side. <clears throat> Match ending has definitely improved this year. I really do like it, actually. Um, the more I, more I play of it, the more you see things that it's actually like it's starting to look a little bit like real football, which is good. But it could be on the break. Nicely recovered there. James, ball playing defender through to Bellingham, who passed it on to Saka up the wing. Slots it through. Declan Rice had a good crack from the edge of the box, but nothing going on. Braithwaite, Scov Olsen, Chilwell. Nice. Okay. I'm seeing some promising things at the moment. Here we go. Look, this is the, the same message. We need to tighten the gap between defence and midfield to protect, prevent being taken advantage of there. We'll see how we go. We seem to be doing all right for the time being. John Stones doesn't manage to win the header there. I'm never going to be able to say that lad's name. Hoiberg. Back to Kajar. Andreas Christensen. Slots it through Delaney Braithwaite. Damsgaard over to Skov on the left wing. Oh, that was a good through ball. Can walk a deal with him. Not quite, but Bellingham's there to pick up the pieces. Now can't quite get there. I mean, look, we don't seem to be taking advantage of in midfield at the moment. That was a lovely ball through to Braithwaite. Thankfully, he skies it. Oh, free kick to us anyway. They are definitely getting the better of us, but we've made the better of our chance so far by the look of it. Through to Kane. Oh, Schmeichel's there. Good effort though, lads. in from Mount. Schmeichel picks it up quite easily. Yeah, they are definitely getting the better of us in terms of XG, but we're half-time, 1-0 up. Four shots, two on target. They've had eight shots, one on target. They've got a slightly higher XG than we do. Definitely getting more uh, more corners. 
and we, <laughs> we've had more fouls with you know Bellingham Stones and Saka all being booked so let's uh let's hopefully not get anybody sent off in the second the second half here so um I don't want to say the same thing again um I know that we're capable of better so let's tell them that <clears throat> get them back out onto the field we'll definitely look to to make some substitutions a little bit further into this half hopefully none of these three boys get sent off before we have a chance to you know slow things down lovely nicked off by Foden there but couldn't quite get the ball through to Kane <clears throat> Denmark are a good side we seem to have slowed them oh, I was going to say we seem to have slowed them down a little Bellingham there on the push had a good effort but that was a good block there out for another corner for us Mason Mount again to take. Ball in, brave fight. Hence the ball away. John Stones, lovely winning that header. But unfortunately, the second ball we just weren't able to recover. Like, oh, <laughs> nice one, Ramsdale. That was a bit of a bit of a twitchy situation there. Dam's got to take the corner again. Lovely recovered by Ramsdale. Safely into the hands as well. No messing about this time. Some of the boys are starting to look a little bit tired. Kane's playing well, which is nice. Good through the midfield. Central midfielder on attack seems to be a very strong role again this year, which is nice. Good to know early on. Obviously, everything's subject to change based on the beta when the full game releases. But at the moment, we're looking okay. Through to Mount. Was he onside there? Not sure. Lovely slot sit pass, Michael, into the bottom right-hand corner. Lovely job. Even though we're not necessarily playing as the better team here, we're 2-0 up, which is obviously a great result for us. You know, These are the wins that you want. When you're not playing your best, and you still pick up the W, provided we can hold out, obviously. Could potentially be time to look at swapping to our other tactic, take it a little bit more defensive. But I'm, I'm slightly hesitant to change what's working. Very nervous with these three boys on yellows. Hoiberg through. Big ball up. Back to Skov. Oh, he's offside. I was going to say. That was in. Not the best defensive work from us there. Yeah. Floated crosses and hit the early cross. I suppose we could give it a go. Sister manager's probably got more management knowledge than I do. No matter how many hours I put into, uh, into football manager. Shut that through there. Was that? that was James, I think. I'm hoping that playing him at, at central defender is not going to be a mistake as we go on through this. I think having Walker on the right with his level of pace and then also James through the middle, I think is definitely something that we want to exploit. Especially, like I say, he's literally a four and a half star. All playing defender. We're going to bring on Tamori. He's definitely been playing better in club football, so we'll bring him on. Um, we've got two more substitutes to make. Do we want to bring Saka off is the question. I reckon we probably do. Let's bring Sterling on and we'll play Sterling as a winger. On attack still. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to swap to this to this second tactic that I've got running. We're going to play Declan Rice at defensive midfield. Mount into that box-to-box -box midfielder role. Just take everything down a little bit, try and soak up some pressure and then break on the on the counter-attack. And we won't bring Bellingham off just yet, I don't think. Anybody absolutely know? He is tired, though, I suppose. But he's playing really well. Nobody's having a shocker of a game, so no performance-wise substitutions, but it might be worth bringing one of these players off here just based on their, their fitness levels. Um, you know, we've protected Saka and John Stones. Um, let's go. Let's bring Henderson on in midfield. How do you play on attack there? Fine. Perfect. We probably even should. Probably even should just swap around Henderson and Matt. Matt's the more attacking player. But we seem to be holding Matt quite nicely. Still 2-0. 
They've definitely, definitely had you know more shots and more opportunities than we have, but we seem to be closing them out, which is uh, you know good standing for our for our defence. We're playing well where we need to, and we're taking advantage when we need to when we get the opportunities up front. So I'm pretty happy with how this game has gone. We need to work better on on picking up those second balls and the you know the when people are bringing them down from the headers. And what's that speed there from Tamori? That was shocking. That was shocking. This ball over the top, it's good, but old mate should not be beating Tamori to that. Why did you stop your run? No good. 2-1. Hopefully we can hold these boys out for the last... Three minutes of the game, he says, as there's another... Oh, lovely steal there from Walker, but unfortunately, we lose the ball straight after. Again, Walker's there. Sterling, up the wing. Oof. Manages to get the block in. Don't want to click on him. You know what that means. If you watch enough football manager, you know what clicking on a player means. Mount to take the corner. Ball in. Kane was there, but didn't even jump by the look of it. Rice back out to James. Over the top. Foden offside he was, I think. Four minutes of added time. 30 seconds left of standard time. Chilwell clears the ball, but not, not quite well enough. And they've got another corner here. Ball back out. We do just need to actually nullify them. We just continually give them the second ball every time. They always have a, a second opportunity to at least make something happen. Scott puts the ball over. Probably butchering that name, even though it's a simple one. Here we go then. Last 15 seconds of the game. Tamori, you're in my bad books after that fella. We didn't need to concede there. Although we have managed to hold it out. Lovely job. You know, not necessarily the best performance that we've ever had. And we definitely didn't deserve the two goals based on our XG. They definitely did deserve the two goals. Um, but, you know, we win the game 2-1, which is nice. Kane having a good game. Mount played well. So did Rice and Ramsdale. Mason Mount, best performer, man of the match. Good stuff. Bellingham also had a cracker of a game. Took him off, save him getting sent off. Um, lovely job. Delighted that we got what we came here for. So there you have it. First game as England manager under the belt. Probably not the best performance ever, but you know we managed to put Denmark away and get the win, which is the most important part about it. Now I'm hoping for a very clean bill of health because we've got a tough game coming up where we're going to be playing France away. If you enjoyed that video, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more.